reducing noise in photographs can be a pain in the butt. I can't deny that. There's software like Photoshop and Lightroom that can remove noise. There's software like on one photo raw that can remove noise and luminar that can remove noise and so on and so on there's endless software that can remove noise but i'm doing a series on artificial intelligence in photography so so the software i want to show you is a new one from topaz labs called denoise ai it uses artificial intelligence to remove noise in photographs Hey, this is Scott Weinkivowitz, a storyteller with a camera talking about all the things photographers like you and I are thinking about. In this video, we're talking about removing and reducing noise in your photographs. But before we dive in, click that subscribe button below now because I publish new videos every Monday and Thursday whenever possible. You don't want to miss it. And karate kick the notification bell. Quick thank you to Mac Worldwide Warranty for partnering with me on my videos. I get a Mac Worldwide Warranty on all of my equipment, from my computer to my lenses to my cameras, everything. All covered by Mac Worldwide Warranties, and that includes accidental damage. So let's dive into Denoise AI from Topaz Labs. We're going to go right to the computer, and uh, you're going to see what I'm talking about. So this is Topaz Denoise AI, and you can see I can drag and drop a photo or I can select a photo. I'm going to just drag a photo right into here. The photo that I brought up is one that I underexposed, and so it was very dark, and this was an interior of a distressed house, and the photo, I brightened it and then brought up the shadows to bring out more of the noise that would have been in the shadows. So you can see, if I was to show you the original, this is actually what it looks like. We can actually zoom out as well. Okay, so here is the full photo, uh, almost the full photo. You can see that you don't see all the edges, but this is uh, basically the full photo, and you can see there's a lot of noise in the shadows because I underexposed the image and then brightened it in post for this purpose. Now, if I was to take away the original, you can see that it actually did remove the noise here. If I was to do a split, you can see... It is actually removing the noise. It did soften it a bunch. It made it look a little fake, but you can actually enhance that. You can enhance that, the sharpness. And every time you make an adjustment, the AI is going to try and uh, adjust that photo. So you're going to see uh, the reprocessing every single time. So it can take a good amount of time to get this done. The software isn't the fastest uh, compared to other AI software that Topaz has done in the past. This one is probably the slowest of them all for a good reason. It has a lot of things that it needs to do to correct. You can see it did actually sharpen that a little bit. So now it looks a little bit better and I would probably uh, keep that going. I'm going to turn off the automatically update preview and just sharpen it a little bit more. And now I can manually update the preview when I'm ready. Um, we can even restore some detail. And then let's update the preview. Now it's going to take, a, again, it's going to take another minute or so to, for it to examine the photo and, you know, add in the, the changes I made in the settings. But uh, once it's done, we should see even more sharpness in those shadow areas. Uh, but what you're seeing is, again, artificial intelligence doing this for us. We don't have to figure it out so much. We're letting the software do that thinking for us. So that's kind of where artificial intelligence, I think, can be good and bad. It's done. Let's have a look. I think it did a pretty good job. If you look at this, now the sharpness is actually pretty good. It doesn't look as fake. It still looks uh, a little fake because it's still soft, but you can see it did remove all that. Now, what I would probably do at this point, because I don't want, if you look at, if I take away that, you can see that it's also soft here. But if I was to do a split, you can see there's actually more detail in the brick when it's before. And same thing for these, these pillars here, these beams here. There's more detail even over here, the wood. So I would probably uh, save this and then bring it back into something like Photoshop or wherever and mask away the areas where I don't want the, 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 the noise to actually do anything. But there you go. That is Topaz Labs Denoise in a nutshell. You drag an image, it automatically detects what it needs to do, and then you can further adjust it as you want. Topaz Denoise AI, check it out. You might like it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.